this module we'll learn about time zones and daylight saving now if you remember in the second module uh, when we were exploring the posix lt class we learned that it stored daytime components as a list right now among the different components it returned uh, we looked at gmt off and zone right so zone stood for the time zone and gmt off is offset in seconds from gmt right so we decided that we'll talk more about that um, daylight savings when we come to the fourth module right so now gmt off is offset in seconds from gmt there's a difference in hours and minutes from gmt or utc all right so it's getting a bit confusing right so what is gmt uh, what is utc what do they stand for okay so utc is coordinated universal time and gmt is greenwich meridian time right so since we are talking about utc and gmt etc let us spend a little time understanding the basics of time zones and daylight savings right so we'll start off with time zones and after that we'll go and look at daylight savings now why do these time zones exist they exist because different parts of the earth receive sunlight at different times now if there was a single time zone noon or morning would mean different things in different parts of the world the time zones are based on earth's rotation now earth moves approximately 15 degrees every 60 minutes that is 360 degrees in a 24 hour timeline and the planet is divided into 24 time zones each 15 degrees of longitude width so you have heard of greenwich meridian time and we just saw gmt offset in posix lt right and you would have come across a uh, gmt in other time formats as well right so for example in india the time zone is given as gmt plus 5 hours 30 minutes right now let us explore gmt in a little more detail greenwich is a suburb of london and the time at greenwich is greenwich meridian time as you move west from greenwich every 15 degree section is 1 hour earlier than gmt and every 15 degree section to the east is an hour later all right so we know what gmt is what greenwich meridian is now what about utc right what is utc then coordinated universal time on the other hand is the time standard commonly used across the world even though they share the same current time GMT is a time zone while UTC is a time standard right so we need to understand the difference between time zone and time standard the so GMT is a time zone and UTC is a time standard okay so that's a basic overview of what time zones are and what is the difference between a time zone and a time standard and we also looked at what GMT and UTC stand for. Now let us get back to R. So how do we check the time zone in R? So we'll go to that. We'll go to R Studio and see how we can check time zone. Right. So sys dot time zone should give you the time zone in which you are located. Right. let us run this and so it gives asia/calcutta so like i said we uh, are based out of india and the time zone for india is indian standard time or you will see it as asia/calcutta now if you do not see the time zone what do you do right if suppose let us say you run this function when you are going through this module and uh, you run sys dot time zone but you don't see any output so what do you do in that case so if you do not see the time zone 
then you can uh, use sys dot get environment to get the value of the time zone environment variable so what you are seeing here is based on the time zone environment variable right so let us run that as well sys dot get environment and we look for the time zone environment variable right now if nothing is returned it means we have to set the time zone right and to do that we'll use the sys dot set environment function to set the time zone now depending on where you are located or where you are residing you need to specify the that particular time zone right and like i said earlier since we are located in india i will set the time zone environment variable using sys dot set n and then we'll specify asia slash calcutta sorry right so using this i will set the time zone environment variable okay now let us go back to this function sys dot get environment variable and then you'll see asia slash calcutta right in the previous case it was empty right it did not return anything it returned an empty string but now that we have set the time zone environment variable we can see that using sys dot get environment you get the time zone here asia slash calcutta right so uh, try this uh, and see if the time zone environment variable has been set you can check it using the sys dot get environment function and if it doesn't return anything or if it returns for empty string then use sys dot set environment function and then specify the time zone in which you are located now another way to get the time zone is through the tz function from the lubridate package now all the three functions that you are seeing here they are from the base r right now we'll see how to get the time zone from the tz function from the lubridate package right so again you can see asia slash calcutta here now one last thing that i want to show you is that if you want to see the time using a different time zone right now i am located in india and if i want to see the time current time in a different time zone then we can use with underscore tz that is with underscore time zone then you specify the time that is the current time or any other time that you want to see in a different time zone and then you have to specify the time zone in which you want to see this time right so right now in my time zone the time is around 347 in the afternoon or evening depending on what you call it now if i want to see what is the time in utc then i can use with underscore time zone first i specify the time that's the current time and then i want to see the same time in utc right so when i run this it shows 10 17 in the morning right so this is useful if you want to see the same time in a different time zone right instead of going to the web and checking it using a website you can do this using the with underscore time zone function okay so that's it about time zones we have basically understood what uh, why different time zones exist what gmt and utc are and then how we can check the time zone using r both from base r and the lubridate package now i'll go to the second topic which is daylight savings right now this is also called as daylight saving time or daylight savings time or daylight time or summer time and so those are the different names from which it might be called so it is the practice of advancing clocks during summer months so that darkness falls later each day according to the clock right so daylight savings is the practice of advancing clocks during summer months so that darkness falls 
later each day according to the clock. Now in other words, from the image that you are looking at, it is advanced clock by one hour in spring okay, and retired the clocks by one hour in autumn. Okay, so that's why it's known as spring forward and fall back. Right, so during the spring, the clocks are advanced by one hour and in autumn, they are moved back by one hour. Okay, now in R, there's this function TST, right, and it's an indicator for daylight savings. So the daylight savings is in effect. Uh, it will return true if daylight saving is in force false if not and na if unknown right so let us try it here dst and i'll give the input as system d we have to give it some input right so that then it will ca it can check and let us know whether daylight savings is in effect or not Right, so here it says false, right? There is no daylight saving in effect in India. Now, depending upon where you are located, that is your geographical location, it might either return true or it will return false or it will return NA if it is unknown, right? So, it's a very small module, again, like I said, but a very important one, right? Because, because when you are analyzing data, it is very important to keep in mind the time zones and whether daylight savings is in effect or not, right? So then you can do the required adjustments, otherwise you will end up analyzing the data with the wrong uh, time zones and wrong assumptions, right? So uh, a small module, but very important one, and it will give you a basic understanding of uh, time zones and daylight savings and you will be able to then uh, use this when you are looking at data with different coming from different time zones including regions where daylight savings might be in effect right so few questions for you to try out check out the time zone you live in and uh, if you don't get it in R then use sys.get n function to check the environment variable for time zone and if it returns empty or null string, then use sys.set environment to set the time zone environment variable. And check if daylight savings is in effect. And also check the current time in UTC or any other time zone that you want to explore. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this small module. In the next module, we'll look at all the different and weird formats in which date and time uh, will be present in real world data, right? So very interesting and also very important module. So we'll start exploring uh, date and time formats in the next two modules, right? Module five and module six, we'll explore uh, all the different and weird ways in which date and time is represented. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like, and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, and we will reply to them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos on our playlist, and subscribe to R Squared Academy channel to learn more. Happy learning!